synagogue, or most likely a wedding. There was no suspense until they got to this country. There were no parties for them. And what was it? Self-taught musicians who played in the style that they heard the cantus sing. So the cantus sing, so the Klesmer would do the same thing, that was instrument. The first Klesmer instrument, the violin. The clarinets came in in the middle to late 19th century, and in this country, the clarinet replaced the violin. In the other country, the violin was the klezmer instrument. Then a klezmer spielt auf sein Fiedel. A hartzig Yiddish Liedel often filled when you play a soulful Jewish melody on a violin. So these klezmer were guys in the early years untrained. There were these whole families of klezmer who came from these individual places. And when they came to America, many of them became full-timers. They became professional musicians. Most of the early klezmer could not afford to do that because there are times in the Jewish calendar in which klezmer are not allowed to play. So very often a klezmer would have periods of weeks where he couldn't play. So to make a parnusa, which is a living, for the family, you had to be able to work all the time. Uh, whatever job that a person could have. The idea behind Klezmer was to use whatever musical talent you had to make a couple of pennies to feed your family. My grandmother used to say, Klezmer a bum. Why Klezmer a bum? Because he was a mensch with a maidel in Yedin State. He was a guy with a girl in every, every town. Which wasn't really totally true except for the youngest one. Because a lot of these people were married people with families. The melodies were folk melodies that were made up by the musicians themselves or in certain cases the Hasidic courts in Europe had klezmer bands attached to them. The Hasidim would sit around the rabbi's table, and sometimes the rabbi would make up a little song, or one of the people close to the rabbi would make up a little song. Ay, did he die, die. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, did he die, die. Ay, 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 would become a song. And the guys who play at the wedding, that has a Hasidic sound, because it doesn't have as many notes. Hasidic music is vocal music. Whereas the other guys are playing, imagine a guy singing that. Sounds like scat singing. Nobody would sing that. The musicians played that. That was for their enjoyment and edification. It happened to have a nice kick for dancing, so people got used to it and they like it. But the mix of those made up the klezmer repertoire. <laughs> Chip
tastes like you. The mud and falafel, that's delicious. If you know your outfit, life of course is high. Learn it well and don't forget, you'll be set up just like the Dora is our law. Now and give a more, study it, but nothing can be greater. Hasidic music is vocal music, whereas the other guys are playing a buying did it that 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 did it that 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 did it that they Study it, but nothing can be greater. Can be greater. Hebrew is 
such fun. Lesson one is done. Lehi Prao, goodbye. I'll see you later. Hello.